telling them. You are so wrong about that, Natalie. Ed, if you like it so much, why don't you just go out with her? Oh, that would be impossible. No way. Fun is never impossible. Especially on a night like this. Well, what's the night got to do with it? You kidding? The moonlight, the summer breeze? It's like my daddy always used to say, in the red light, with the right liquor, anyone can fall for anyone. <laughs> anyone for anyone? All you gotta do is open your heart. Hey, you know what, chap? Maybe I could go for Natalie. Really? That is, if you show me how to go about it. How about I pretend to be Natalie, and you pretend to be me, and you could, you know, seduce me? <laughs> Sounds a little funny, Ed. Ah, uh, come on. Let's say Natalie's sitting right here, working on her engine, and then me, that's you, would come up to her and say something real nice. Come on, say something real nice. <laughs> and, uh, well, honey pie, you are the spark plug that makes my engine go purr. Oh, heck yeah, keep going. And did I ever tell you you got such pretty eyes and... Hey, Ed, you really do have pretty eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, don't stop now. I need to know more like what I you know. Caress her? Too soon for that, Ed. Nah, come on. Caress. Ed, you're acting like a typical man. You can't get to the touch in that fast. Well, with Natalie, I can. Come on! Well, Ed, it feels like talk. got a step in
about your lady love. Mine is a lady of class and culture, as is mine. Mine is called Miss Summer, as is mine. Mine runs the museum, as the Wait, how many Miss Saunders run that museum? You don't mean, no. <laughs> I don't want to love you. 